Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today I'd like to talk to you on the topic of supernaturally hospitable, uh, one of my themes for this year really, um, which is to do with cultivating friendship and rich community um, with others in the life of the church and fellowship in such a way that it furthers the mission of God as people see this compelling community of love um, that is the church. I'd like to read to you from uh, Luke chapter 10, verse 38 following. It's a very famous story, story of Mary and Martha. This, uh, this couple of sisters who are, are good friends with, with Jesus, they and their brother, uh, Lazarus, and they, they have him over to their home. They show him hospitality. And uh, this is what happens. As Jesus and the disciples continued on their way to Jerusalem, they came to a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. Her sister Mary sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he taught. But Martha was distracted by the big dinner she was preparing. She came to Jesus and said, Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work? Tell her to come and help me. But the Lord said to her, my dear Martha, you are worried and upset over all these details. There is only one thing worth being concerned about. Mary has discovered it and it will not be taken away from her. Classic story of hospitality um, gone awry, really. And Martha has welcomed Jesus into her home. And uh, we need to be those who welcome Jesus into our home. Um, but don't just stop at that, sit at his feet. And um, Martha gets very het up because she's so busy and flustered about providing this great spread for Jesus um, that she kind of ends up making a, an embarrassment of herself. She snaps at, uh, at her sister and tries to draw Jesus into the argument. And Jesus, of course, resists that. And he says, Martha, Martha, um, you, you worry about many things, but one thing is necessary. And uh, one of the things I, I found fascinating when I preached on this, this topic um, a few years ago now was that one of the possible translations for Jesus' words is that, um, that Jesus is saying, you know, Martha, you worry about providing this incredible spread of dishes, but one dish will do. It could be that, that one thing he's talking about is not about Mary's contemplative repose at his feet, but actually that Martha um, should simplify her hospitality um, because sometimes uh, as we, in our anxiety to provide a wonderful spread for those who are coming around to our homes, uh, we neglect our guest. Uh, we're flustered in the kitchen. And, uh, and I think this has a, a very practical implication for our hospitality showing uh, to others. Um, sometimes we, we feel like, especially in our middle class environment, we've got to put on a big spread and we've got to do a very impressive meal and we've got to get out the Jamie Oliver cookbook and, uh, and provide this incredible experience. And in the midst of all that, we end up not being truly present with those we're seeking to show hospitality with. Uh, and maybe we neglect and miss the opportunity to, uh, to mutually encounter Jesus in our midst and be truly present with, with one another. And so the challenge this week is to say, um, how, how about we recalibrate our expectations when it comes to showing and receiving hospitality? Let's uh, kind of review the social contract of hospitality. And rather than make it all about putting on a great event, it's just very stressful and, uh, and sets the bar high, which means that we kind of are less inclined actually to welcome others into our home. Let's make it simple. You know, some of the, the closest friends you have are those whom you can just walk into their house. And it doesn't matter if you have you know, a bit of toast. That'll do because the main thing is being present with each other and experiencing and sharing love and hospitality at a deeper level. So this challenge this week is invite someone around for a slice of toast. It doesn't have to be a big song and dance. In fact, it's better if it's not. Think about who you could have over this week in that kind of simple yet wonderful way.